Our print judge for this month is a new resident to Reno and a new member of the Reno Photo Club, Lou Manna. Lou has spent over 30 years creating images of all things edible. A recognized expert in the field of food photography, Lou's award-winning photographs have appeared in over 40 cookbooks, in marketing campaigns for Kraft Foods, Dannon, and the Culinary Institute of America, as well as leading industry publications such as Wine Enthusiast and Food Arts. Lou worked for 15 years as a photographer at the New York Times from 1975 until 1990. He covered feature stories, including many articles with renowned food writer Craig Claiborne. In the 1990s, Lou opened up his own studio on New York's Fifth Avenue and has been honored to be an Olympus visionary photographer since 2002. In addition to his photography, Lou is an established public speaker and educator. He teaches workshops on food photography where he delights in sharing the tricks of his trade. Lou's highly acclaimed book, Digital Food Photography, published by Cengage, is in its fourth printing. This is the first book about food photography to focus exclusively on digital technology. I like the shot. It's a little grainy for me. The composition is obviously horizontal and works for this subject matter. I like the clouds that form behind the stone hedge in almost exactly the same shape. This photograph is exceptional. The quality is remarkable. It almost looks to me like an 8x10 view camera from the old days. Bravo! The gradations of gray and black and the tonal range in the print are wonderful. I, I love the texture, the detail, the composition, the subject matter, and the lighting. I like the fact that the trees were used to frame the picture and the rocks as well, but there doesn't seem to be much of a center of interest. My eye keeps roaming around on the horizon line, so there's no point of interest. The quality is there. I like the tonal range and the quality of the photograph. I like this photograph because normally you see moon photos just with the moon. At least there's a diagonal line cutting into the moon. But I see some deterioration in quality around the edge of the moon. It looks like it might have been over sharpened. Uh, the exposure is accurate for the moon, which is as bright as the sun, so it's rather difficult. Very pretty, interesting, impressionistic approach to the balconies. I like the texture, the detail. Uh, even the graininess adds to the effect. It creates more of a stucco look to the picture. I give this a 12. Well done. I like the sepia tone quality of it. Uh, it gives it uh, that earthy look that stucco has. I like the quality of this photograph and the paper with the texture is quite interesting even though there isn't any texture on the paper so it's just a filter that's being used in Photoshop that creates the texture I'm not sure if it really works well on the clouds though I like it on the buildings because it actually augments the brick on the building so maybe it might have been good to do a layer and just create the texture on the building and, and keep the skies clear or clean. 
just my thought on this. Otherwise, the print quality is there. The composition is fine. It's a metallic print. And it's interesting. I didn't know metallic prints could come in sepia tone. I like the texture, the detail. Uh, the composition is traditional in terms of centering it. But the objects are very, very interesting with all of their uh, intricate detail. It's captured well and printed well. This is a wow. I love the metallic quality to this photograph. It really works where it, it makes the cacti stand out out of the contrast of the background. I love the way the background is blurred out. It seems to be done in the computer because I'm looking now towards the edges of the cacti and I could see that it was manipulated later. And I kind of don't like that as much. So maybe a little less on that out of focus, especially in the bottom right quadrant of the photograph. But the stunning quality, detail, and sharpness of the cacti is overwhelming. And I like the diagonal composition very much. Nice background bokeh effect. One of the few that I've seen so far. I'm not particularly fond of this photograph. I would like to maybe see a, a glimmer of an eye open or something more interesting. A little too much uh, darkness in, in the fox's ear and in the rest of the body. Maybe the bottom could have been cropped uh, oh about uh, on, on the print about an inch and a half and uh, create a little more tension or, or you could have made a, a very horizontal photograph. This is an exceptional print quality and I really like the guy in the bottom right. He's just perfect. He's just standing out there aimlessly looking and the other guy on top is is looking in the right direction the quality in the uh, in the detail in the train I really like all the tonal range and I like the fact that the Sun was hitting the bushes in front to create that contrast especially in the main subject matter and the, the smoke billowing uh, contrasting against the trees there with the way the lights hitting it so it's a matter of, of catching the light at the right time and being at the right place that's photography at its best I particularly like the matte and the, the texture and the silvery quality of the matte, I think, augment the photograph. Very well done. I really feel comfortable in this home, the name of the photograph being Comfortable Home. I like the composition very much and the detail, the texture, the quality, the print quality is beautiful. I like the deep blacks, the whites are there. It has a, a silvery uh, quality to it and the lighting on the paper is, is nice and dappled. It's very creatively done and it looks like it might be somebody's home who took the photograph. I see cameras up on top of the piano. It has good composition, exposure and lighting. This photograph brings me back to the old days. Although I didn't have desks like this, I love it. It reminds me of uh, the um, Bowery Boys, or Bowery Kids, remember that? And I, I loved reading, put I before E, except after C on the blackboard. The detail is exceptional, the print quality, the tonal range. I love the grain and the wood on the desks, and I like the, the diagonal composition. And um, it really, really is done well. The only thing that I was taken aback by was the mounting of the photograph. First of all, it wasn't actually mounted on a, on a, back, on a backing, and it was a little askew uh, the way the, the frame, the mat board is mounted, and there's a little bit of um, glue or something on it too. 
So for that matter, I give it a 13. I had initially given it a 15 in terms of print quality, but I guess mounting and matting is important in a print competition. So please be careful with that in the future. This brings me way back to the old days of uh, photographing portraits. The, the hair is out of focus. It's a diagonal composition. Uh, I feel it really needs a catch light in the eye because when I shoot portraits, I like seeing that catch light. It brings your, your eye to the eye, which is to me one of the more important features of a photograph. It has a faded quality. It looks like it's been a print that was printed a while ago and sitting around, whether it was intended to be or it truly is. That's left to be told by the person who did it. Obviously, since I'm a food photographer, I love this photograph. It's a beautiful, simple, still life. The shadows are nice and soft. The lighting is perfect. I like the composition, and I like the use of the books, especially uh, with their interesting binders. Um, the, the square by the box, even though it's keystoned a little bit, it doesn't bother me at all because it creates a little bit of a perspective and draws your eye into the photograph. Great job, great lighting, love this shot. This is a wow image. I was wondering if it was photoshopped, but I guess it was something close to reality. And I wonder if it's a real person. I'd like to meet him. I definitely won't kiss him though. Nice composition, great colors. I, I think the, the fact that there's a streak of light, sunlight coming in at a diagonal helps it, and the no trespassing or hunting sign adds some interest. Um, good job, really good quality. I like the, um, the technical proficiency in printing it. It truly is a blazing glory. That tree is spectacular in its colors, and I like the contrast of that red with the color of the background, the green trees in the background, and the, and the grass and the, the sky. I would have liked to see a little more uh, intensity and detail in the sky to make it more dramatic. I think it's a good job, and I like it very much. A great name for this photograph. Incredible capture, uh, getting the, the wings of the bird in midair. And I like the look of the, the children up at the mom or the dad, whoever's supposed to bring the fish. I'm sure they were disappointed. Compositionally, it works. I think the quality is there. It's uh, not too much noise. I like the background out of focus and the sharpness in the branches. Well done composition, obviously off-centering the subject matter really works to create a little more interest. Bravo. A very tender moment captured properly, but it is a little grainy for my taste and not really sharp. It looks like it was over sharpened. You can see that by the edges of the Osprey. I give it a 7, but compositionally it works. There's a little bit of grain and noise in the sky or in the background, but I'm sure that this was magnified and blown up, and I know how hard it is to shoot something like this, so good job. What a striking image. The color is surreal. The printing on it is fabulous. 
the composition I enjoyed, especially since there's two uh, rectangular boxes that are in different uh, angles. One is vertical, obviously the shutters, and then the Rue de Glace, uh, de Glace, de la Glace, pardonnez-moi, is horizontal. And I like the juxtaposition of those two elements along with the diagonal created by the color blue on the bottom uh, right quarter of the photograph as opposed to the gray and light blue on the top left quarter of the photograph. Great job, great printing, wonderful detail. This photograph is a wow. I thought it was a painting at first, since I have never really seen a sea wall coming from New York. All I see is brick buildings and uh, concrete. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Uh, absolutely wonderful array, and I like the linearity of it and the, the way it was captured. Wonderful quality, great print. I would buy this one. It's a beautiful composition, the lighting, the color, I love it, but it's sort of a typical photograph that's been taken before. Maybe using some other element to frame it would have helped it, and maybe uh, making the horizon line a little bit lower and having more of the blue sky might have helped. But quality-wise, it's there. It's a nice photograph, a little grainy for my taste, almost looks posterized. Uh, some of the black elements in the fountain on the, in the water bother me, it looks like dust. It probably is specks of water, but specks of water should have been white. Um, interesting, the light in the trees in the background. It almost has a metallic print quality, but I don't think it is. Uh, very, very posterized feeling. Once again, it feels like it's a little too contrasty for me and a little posterized. A uh, good composition. I like the diagonals in the bottom right created by the rocks and then the verticals in the middle by the weeds and, and uh, otherwise, the nice color blue is very peaceful with a deeper, richer blue in the bottom right quadrant. A metallic print. The clouds look beautiful. I love the quality and the texture in them. But the, uh, the cliff in the foreground is a little distracting. Uh, just feels too grainy to me. The other cliff looks more realistic. I like the fact that there's a little bit of the grass in the foreground to frame the picture and it works really well and then finally the little people on top really give you a perspective of how big this cliff is. Uh, good print quality. I love this photograph. The feathery quality of the waterfall because of the low shutter speed. Very well done. The color, the deep rich color, red color of the tree in the top right, contrasting with the bottom left and the, and the granularity of the sand and the grayness and the brownness of it. And then the greenness of the water it really gives you that emerald quality. The only problem that I had was the matting and the fact that it's not mounted and it's crooked. So I have to deduct two points. I gave it a 15 initially, now I have to give it a 13 once I really scrutinize the print.
this is a very nice picture of a lighthouse. I like the fact that it's way off center and not uh, too evenly composed. Um, the sky could have been accentuated or made a little more dramatic and there could have been a little more detail on the bottom portion of the photograph to get some of that green out of the grass. It just feels a little flat to me. It could have, have been a, had a little more contrast. I give it a 9. And the fact is that the mat was really dirty and that doesn't help the judging of it. It just feels off to me, like the shutter should be placed in the left side of the photograph so that the hinges would weigh to the left and your eye would go to the right. In a way, it creates a little bit of tension by doing what was done. So there's two ways of looking at it, tension and tradition. Uh, the quality of the print is well done. The mounting is very nice. I like the double edge and it's straight. This is a photograph I would like on my wall. I find this very attractive, not only because I'm a city boy from New York, but because of the colors of that city and the different sculpture that was in the foreground. And what's even more interesting for me is the photographer photographing in the bottom right, which almost looks like a statue, photographing the other statue that's angled, and then the other photographer that's in the bottom left photographing the other sculpture. I thought it was a photo safari that you guys were on, but it looks like it just might be tourists photographing it. Interesting, it gives it some, some you know, something beyond the image and the color. And uh, the printing quality and the colors are magnificent. Bravo. This is an interesting photograph. Needless to say, the clown obviously keeps my eye coming back to it. I may have cropped the bottom portion of the photograph, uh, excluding the lit up cans. Maybe left the, the yellow, uh, yellow pail in the right portion of the bottom. That's about the only thing that I could see wrong with it. In terms of print quality, I like the colors. I like the composition. I find it to be an interesting photograph, obviously. It might have been my house. I have a lot of stuff in it like this. I like that kind of look. The thing that distracted me about this photograph was the, the damage in the mat and the top left, right off the bat. Being a print composition, that, that subtracted a few points right there. It also has some sort of a posterization or high contrast quality to it. And otherwise, there's nice color. I love the blue of the sky contrasting with the brown of the wood. Those two always are good elements to juxtapose. And the white of the siding. Missing some of the links in there, some of the shutters or some of the shingles, whatever it is. I was initially attracted to this photograph very much because I like to frame things when I photograph them and this was done well. I like the, the way it's framed, I like the frame itself it having some texture and detail and uh, the, way, the way it was composed is beautiful. The quality of the print is beautiful as well. The blue sky contrasts well with the red of the building and the yellow of the surrounding frame. Once again, something that bothered me though is the mat. The bottom right part of the mat is, uh, is damaged. So I had to subtract a few points for that. This is a nice print. It has a sepia quality even though it's color. It looks a little old and there's like a hair or something in the bottom portion of the photograph that bothers me. Otherwise, 
uh, I like the composition. Actually, it works well to have that other uh, fourth person walking away in the background, not holding a uh, fishing pole. I like the angles of the poles and the diagonal quality of the composition. This is a nice photograph giving me a feeling that the woman is all alone looking at these geysers. The quality could have been improved in the detail in the trees and maybe a little more contrast. It just feels a little flat to me, but compositionally it works. Very nice dramatic and beautiful moon. I just noticed a couple of branches coming in on the right side of the photograph. So maybe the, the print quality could have been improved, especially in detail in the mountains. Give me a little bit more of those white caps and a little more detail in that middle portion of the photograph because basically half of the photograph is losing detail. Even in the, the city lights, I would have liked to see a little more detail. But the, the top part, I like the richness of the blue and uh, the moon, especially with that cloud cutting through the middle of it. It makes it very interesting.